when DJI develops a new feature, it's not surprising to see it trickle down to other models. And this one is certainly a welcome addition. The Mavic 3 Enterprise is the smallest and lightest aircraft in the DJI Enterprise series of drones. While it simply cannot pack all the features of the larger models into such a compact package, it might surprise you how many features the Mavic 3 does inherit from its bigger brothers. Today, we're looking at one of those features called Terrain Follow. As its name suggests, this feature is used to help the aircraft maintain a safe distance from the ground over uneven or rugged terrain features, and is applied during mapping missions. More importantly, by doing this, the distance to the target data is uniform across the entire area, making sure that you maintain high fidelity for processing in your mapping software. The best part about it is this is practically built in to the software with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Here's how it works. On the main screen of the flight app for the Mavic 3 Enterprise remote, tap the flight route box. From there, you can select Create Route. Of course, this will be a mapping mission. Zoom in to the area you plan to map, then tap the center of the screen. Now you can adjust the mission area. When you're satisfied, be sure to select the camera, in this case, the Mavic 3 Enterprise Wide Camera. Now we will configure the Terrain Follow feature. Tap the toggle to activate it. You will now see a row provided that allows you to select a DSM file. You can, of course, upload any DSM file you have from other sources, but with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, no second party is necessary. On the selection screen, simply tap the plus icon, and then choose Download from Internet. It's just that easy. With your aircraft out in the field, you can now start the mission as laid out in the software and just let the Mavic 3 Enterprise run its program. And the results are as detailed as you'd expect. You can see how aggressive the slope is where we chose to run this mission, and the Mavic never ran into any problems getting around it thanks to the data we downloaded before starting the mission. While the Mavic 3 Enterprise isn't configured to replace aircraft like the Matrice 30 or 300, it's still great to see how each new version inherits more and more of these specialized features as advancements in the hardware and software increase. If you'd like to find out about how to add the Mavic 3 Enterprise to your toolkit, follow the link in the description. Let us know what other questions you have about the DJI Enterprise series. And to keep up to date with the latest in drones and robotics, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel.